we made it out. It's hot. I didn't fall. I didn't get my shoes wet. <laughs> Nate, did you get wet? Oh, only to the knees. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. heading back to the coast today. This guy's coming with me again. Say hi, Nate. Life decisions have improved. <laughs> Nate gets nervous when I hold the camera while I'm driving. Are you nervous, Nate? Freaking out. <laughs> Freaking out. All right, we're over the hill again. Today is gonna be a lesson in persistence. We're going back to the crack see if we can get that shot the tide says that it's coming in so we're a little nervous same condition it's it's gonna be is it the same story same story as last time we think it's the same story as last time but we're going for it gotta do what you gotta do see how it works made it it's actually not that cold out Kind of nice. I'm gonna leave a body in your trunk. The cloud. <laughs> that sounded terrible. I can see the crack way down there. I think it looks good right now. Remember this? You got a little better, just a little bit. Watching these waves as I walk in, I think they may be worse than last time. I don't think I'm getting down there. I really don't. I'm pretty bummed about it. Now I gotta look for plan C. Not quite sure how to get down. We're going down that cliff. Oof. Like a Look how little Nate is. He just jumped down this dang cliff. It's already wet. <laughs> it's, it's, he's already got his foot wet. It's like a 20 foot drop right here. How tall are you, Nate? That's like a 10 footer. <laughs> he's insane. I might have found another way. It's basically straight down, but there's steps. I'm gonna give it a shot. Made it down, having to go through a little bit of murkiness, but luckily I got my waterproof shoes on, which is good. Oh, look at what I found. <laughs> All right, now it's time to think about the shot. The water is moving in so quickly through here that I don't think I'm gonna need too long of a shutter speed to show the movement in the water, which I definitely wanna get. I also like that rock in the background, which I, I think just adds character to the image. And the sun's going down right now. The clouds are a bit spotty, so there might be some areas where it pokes through. If it blasts some rays through, awesome. That's what I'm hoping for. I also hope that it can kiss some light onto the onto these rocks right here and give me some of that really beautiful sunset light. So I'm gonna set up with my Sony A7. I'm going to get a wide angle lens, 16 to 35 Canon, and give it a go. Light's getting good. Now the hard part is sitting here waiting for that perfect moment. I got my composition set vertically, got the nice crack leading in, the 
rock in the background, the sky. It's all looking pretty good. The rock is a little bit touching into the lower rocks here, but I think I like the lower angle better. So I'm gonna run with that. I'm at ISO 100 at F11. So I get a little bit of depth out into the ocean. I'm focusing on the points in front. Everything behind it should stay in focus. And I'm letting my shutter speed fall where it may. Right now it's about a 50th of a second in the sky, which is two stops underexposed. It's just so bright out there. I'm actually gonna change my exposure up a little bit. I'm playing with the f-stop to get different shutter speeds to get a little bit more movement in that water. At f11, I wasn't getting a long enough shutter speed, so I'm closing it down to 16 and 22 to see what looks best. I think the moment's gone. The sun just fell behind the clouds and it's uh i think it's lost it but i might try for one more in the foreground but i think i got what i want Here you can see some of this chromatic aberration is what it's called, these little blue spots. An easy way to correct that is going to the color section under the lens corrections and hitting remove chromatic aberration, which is super simple. Again, you can see before and after and it easily takes care of those little spots. Okay. 